Um, hello. So uh, today I'm going to do a, a different Steam tutorial to one I've done before. Um, this one is uh, Steam Generators. This is going to be the actual Steam Generator themselves. Right, uh, so let's start. So let's build the boilers as we need boilers for this uh, to start with. So let's go and get some. I like the large ones. They just make everything a lot easier. So I'm going to put a mirror on because so I'm going to use a double power. And let's just stick four on there for now. That'll do. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to need will be the actual generators themselves. All right, so this is a generator. Um, the generator itself should be at the back, not the front, of any steam... Oh, oops. Any steam uh, thing that you create that requires a generator. So I'll just stick that on there like that. So we've got a front, a middle, a window, and an end. And I'm going to put the end on here, like that. Then I'm going to build some middle, a uh, window, a couple more middles, and a front. OK, um, that is your steam engine gen... Well, not steam engine, steam generator. Um, electric generator. So nothing's going to work because we have no resources on this vehicle. Um, so let's put the, uh, the resources on the vehicle. So the first thing we're going to build on here is, where is it, material storage. Uh, we only need one really, but I'm going to stick two down anyway. There we go, we've got two. And I'm going to set up the piping as well, which is all under here. Do, 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 do. Get it right in a minute. There we go. Right, so uh, if I stick the mirror on it, it'll make it a lot easier. What have we got? Two. It's four, it's four will be too long, so that's fine. No one a single. No one a three way. Like that. I'm going to go for the four meter one. And a two meter one again, and I am connected. So you can see the steam volume and the pressure is going up. And if we go to the other end here, so this indicates that the uh, boiling chamber is the wrong way around. So this is quite easily fixed. We just switch the front and the rear. I never ever remember which one goes which. So we stick that there like that. We can get up to this end now. And we've got a steam turbine generator working. So you can see how much energy per second has been created and the pressure. So this is coming from two separate boilers. So obviously if one got blown up, although you'd be yeah, releasing some steam pressure from having damaged um, piping potentially, uh, you would still have the other side being able to control it or give it extra. So I'm just going to whack these up to maximum because I can. There we go. And let's just swap that to a smaller block so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so we've gone here. So you can see 2000 energy per second near enough from this fairly small thing. Um, the amount of energy generated is all about the amount of steam pressure there is. So the higher the volume and the higher pressure, the more you're going to get. Um, so basically, you want to have as much of a closed system as you can when you're using generators um, if you want more energy. High pressure equals good, compared to engines, which equals bad. So look, we're going up. We've got 4,500 energy per second. Um, now, the turbine volume doesn't really affect it much. I've, I've tested it. But it will obviously help if you've got a lot more boiling chambers, because you've got more that you can process then. Um, I've, I've tried it. You can have uh, two or three next to each other, but they kind of share it all out. So it works out that the amount of energy being produced is the same as just having one. Um, at least that's what I've discovered so far anyway. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's give it some batteries so you can see how fast they charge. Uh, let's use one of these. So this is a 9000 energy. Um, and we're going to get two of them. So it'll be 18,000 energy, and this suggests that we're going to get 8,000 per second. So they should be filled in about two seconds. 
one, two. Yeah, there you go. Two seconds. So if you need a lot of energy, um, this would be the perfect solution, uh, especially if you're using shielding. Because obviously shielding really burns a hole in your um, energy usage. So just, just whack a few on there. Uh, similar with lasers. So obviously lasers use quite a lot too, but uh, obviously more power equals more power. But then lasers have their own kind of win wonderful way of doing things too. Um, yeah, so I hope this has been useful for someone. Um, that's how you create a steam turbine generator. Um, remember to put the end at the front and the front at the end, and you'll always be happy. Uh, thank you for watching.